Never mind. Roger Hales here for Mansum, and you know, I am not good at talking to girls. Uh, the last woman I tried to speak to was my mom on her birthday, and even that didn't go well. So, here to teach us how to talk to just about any girl is dating coach John Keegan. John, how the hell are you? Doing great, Roger. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Um, Thank you. And now you're a relationship expert, right? Uh, dating Pretty coach, much. Really. Uh, so, can you uh, get my parents back together? No. Okay. Thought I'd try. Yeah. So what can you teach me about talking to women? Okay, the first thing we want to do is break the ice within you. Okay. So how we do that is we make being social a practice where it's something you don't just do once, but you do it all the time to stay in shape. And here's how we're going to do it. You're going to start conversations five times a day. Literally just start them. Don't worry about it just for their own sake. Don't worry about where it goes. It's your job to begin the conversation. Before you even leave the house, commit to speaking to five different women. Don't speak to them with the intention of taking them home. Speak to them to build confidence. When you get comfortable doing that, you're going to take it up to the next level, which is talk to five girls who are out of your league. Out of my league. Well, that, that, that'd be just about everyone, I guess. Okay, what's next? Now what you want to do is detach from the outcome. Okay. Okay, lose the agenda. Don't worry about your end game or about rejection. Just focus on being in the moment and making a connection. Not having an ulterior motive will instantly take the pressure off. I'm Roger. That was a joke. I don't use condoms. But really, we're not, we're not thinking about the outcome here. No, we're letting go of the outcome. It's something very uh, zen-like. It's, okay. uh, you're just, zen. yeah. That makes sense, because I imagine that the Dalai Lama probably gets laid a lot of me, right? The Dalai Lama. Well, not him, but maybe Richard Gere does. Oh, yes. All right, so what's my next step? Now you want to think about the energy in which you do it with, and that is light, easy, and fun, silly, right. foolish, self-deprecating humor. I wanted to order a flirtini, but I was too embarrassed. Now that was good. That's funny. That's a funny joke. And then you want to balance it off with being a, a sincere as well. Okay. Okay. I actually kind of did want a flirtini, but uh, thank you. Okay, Roger, now that you've broken the ice, so, and everything's going easy. It's time to get to know her. It's time okay. to get personal, but how do you do it? Hey, I'm Roger, what's your name? Where do you live? Are your parents still alive? I like your bag. Did you go to college? All that's out the window. Instead, we want to make observational statements. And the statements will make it more fun and more interesting, more present. I like your dress. Is that vintage? Uh, yeah, actually it is. I thought so, yeah. Where'd you get it? Oh, just the store down the street over there. Oh, yeah? Oh, right over here? Yeah. There's a lot of cool places in this neighborhood. In fact, there's a great wine bar that just... Do you like wine? I do. I knew it! Okay, so to summarize, let me see if I got this right. One, five a day. Got to do lots of practice, right? Two, lose the agenda. Just be focused on what you're doing. Uh, want to keep it light and funny. And then I guess the last thing is notice things about the girl and comment on that. Am I right? My thanks to John for teaching awesome. me how to become a sex maniac. And I think I'm going to try this right now with maybe those five girls over All there. Right. Go get them. Those are dudes.